Good day, brothers and sisters in Christ. Have you ever pondered the divine purpose of companionship in our lives? Before we delve into the Word of God, let us take a moment to offer our heartfelt praise and thanks to our Heavenly Father, the author of all creation. Father, we are grateful for your presence, your wisdom, and your unwavering love. Our passage for today is found in the book of Genesis, chapter 2, verse 18, and it reads as follows, And the Lord God said, It is not good that man should be alone. I will make him a helper, comparable to him. Let us immerse ourselves in the profound wisdom of this verse. In the context of creation, God, the very architect of the universe, had already crafted the heavens and the earth and all that dwells within it. Yet, as he surveyed his creation, he saw that something was not as it should be. Man was alone. God, in his infinite wisdom, recognized that solitude was not suitable for his masterpiece, humankind. It was not good for man to be alone. And so, out of his boundless love and compassion, the Lord God declared his intention to create a helper, a companion, perfectly suited for Adam. God's design for human companionship was woven into the very fabric of creation. He understood that we are not meant to journey through life in isolation. Instead, we are created for relationship, for fellowship, and for mutual support. God's act of creating a helper comparable to Him underscores the complementary nature of male and female, each designed to complement and complete the other. This truth not only reveals the beauty of marriage, but also the importance of companionship in our lives. Brothers and sisters, it reminds us of the value of relationships, the significance of community, and the importance of standing by one another. We are not meant to face life's challenges alone. We are meant to be there for each other, to lift each other up, and to walk together in faith. In a world that often encourages self-sufficiency and individualism, this passage reminds us that we need one another. It calls us to be the companions, the helpers, the friends that God intended us to be. Let us cherish our relationships, our marriages, our friendships, and our bonds with our fellow believers. Let us be instruments of God's love and support in each other's lives. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask for your guidance in our relationships, that we may be the helpers and companions you have called us to be. Help us to cherish and nurture the connections you have placed in our lives, that we may reflect your love and unity. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Dear brothers and sisters, may the peace of our Lord be with you always. Until we gather again, go forth with love in your hearts, knowing that we are not alone in this journey of faith. God bless you all.